This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. It's a revolutionary mobile phone. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. This is what iPhone is, with a revolutionary user interface. Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. And we have invented a new technology called multi-touch, which is phenomenal. You can do multi-finger gestures on it, and boy, have we patented it. And today, we're going to show you a software breakthrough, software that's at least five years ahead of what's on any other phone. We've designed something wonderful for your hand. It's got a three and a half inch screen on it. It's 160 pixels per inch. And on the front, there's only one button down there. We call it the home button at 11.6 millimeters. And we've got some controls on the side. We've got a little switch for ring and silent. We've got a volume up and down control. On the back, the biggest thing of note is we've got a two megapixel camera built right in. We've got a headset jack. We've got a place, a little tray for your SIM card. And we've got one switch for sleep and wake. We've got a speaker. We've got a microphone, and we've got our 30-pin iPod connector. The first one is a proximity sensor, and it's got an ambient light sensor as well. And the third thing we've got is an accelerometer. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. Well, how do I scroll through my list of artists? How do I do this? I just take my finger, and I scroll. Hello, Steve. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Well, it's been two and a half years, and I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to make the first public phone call with iPhone. Uh, we've managed to get five hours of battery, and that's for talk time, or video, or browsing, and 16 hours of audio playback. We've been innovating like crazy for the last few years on this, and we filed for over 200 patents for all the inventions in iPhone. And we intend to protect them. For four gigabyte model, we're gonna price it at that same $4.99 for just $5.99. We're gonna be shipping these in June. Of course, is we're gonna have all these great apps, and how do we distribute them? We unveiled the App Store in March. It's phenomenal. It's going to be on every iPhone. It's a way for developers to reach every single user. And today, we're introducing the iPhone 3G. This is what it looks like. It's even thinner at the edges. It's got a full plastic back. It's solid metal buttons. The same gorgeous 3.5-inch display. Flush headphone jack, so you can use any headphones you like. <laughs> dramatically improved audio, you'll see that the 3G is approaching Wi-Fi speeds. <laughs> is GPS. 70 countries. You know, the iPhone started off at $599 for an 8-gig iPhone. It now sells for $399 for an 8-gig iPhone. And we want to make it even more affordable. And I'm really happy to tell you that the iPhone 3G is going to sell for $199. And that's for the 8 gig model. The 16 gig model, just $299. The 16 gig model, we also have something special. We have a white one. And we're rolling it out on July 11th. And that's why I'm really excited to tell you about an entirely new version, the iPhone 3GS. Now the S, it stands for speed, because this is the most powerful, fastest iPhone we've ever made. It has the same great design of the iPhone 3G that we just launched last summer, but what's inside is entirely new. So you're gonna see an average across using the phone of up to two times faster, but as I just showed you, a lot of things even faster than that. Game performance, you're going to find the 3GS, now it's OpenGL ES 2.0. There's a brand new 3 megapixel autofocus camera. But the best thing about this camera 
is it also captures video. So 30 frame a second VGA with audio is another great feature. We call it voice control. It's also a built-in digital compass. We also care a great deal about accessibility, helping more and more people be able to use this great new technology and some great new accessibility settings in the iPhone 3GS. We've also built in support for Nike Plus. And something businesses have asked for, they've asked for the ability to have hardware encryption for the data on their iPhone. And every iPhone 3GS has this built in too. But with the 3GS, it's even better. We now have up to nine hours internet surfing on Wi-Fi, 10 hours video playback, up to 30 hours of music listening, up to 12 hours of 2G talk time, and five hours of 3G talk time. Really state-of-the-art battery life. All of that, and I haven't even yet mentioned one of the new features that are coming with iPhone OS 3.0, and I haven't even mentioned all the amazing stuff you do, all the incredible applications, the 50,000 and growing applications on the App Store. And that's for a 16 gigabyte version, twice as much as before, and 299 for a new configuration, 32 gigabytes. So in addition to that, we're gonna keep a model of the iPhone 3G in the market, price at a breakthrough price, just $99. And that's for an eight gigabyte version. Very soon, just a week and a half, June 19th. So today, today, we're introducing iPhone 4. Eight new features of the iPhone 4. The first one, an all new design. This is beyond a doubt the most precise thing, one of the most beautiful things we've ever made. 9.3 millimeters thick, that is 24% thinner than the iPhone GS. Here are the volume controls, volume up, volume down, and mute. On the front, we have a front-facing camera. We have the receiver. We have the home button. We have the micro SIM tray. We have a camera and an LED flash on the back. We've got the microphone, the 30-pin connector, and the speaker. We've got the headset jack. We've got a second mic for noise cancellation and the sweet sleep wake button. Second one, this is a biggie. Something we call the retina display. Third up, the iPhone 4 is powered by the A4 chip and 300 hours of standby. So we're very pleased with this because we're adding a gyroscope. This is a great one a whole new camera system. And we've got an LED flash built in because the camera also records HD video. That's HD video at full 720p at 30 frames per second. iPhone OS 4, the first, the first new feature uh, is that we're going to rename it. Uh, we're gonna take away the phone and we're gonna go even further, we're gonna give it some metal. Number seven iBooks. Number eight, iAds. But there is one more thing. Hey, Johnny. We call this FaceTime. FaceTime video calling. This is our new lineup. And these go on sale June 24th. How do you follow up a hit product like the iPhone 4? Well, I'm really pleased to tell you today all about the brand new iPhone 4S. First, it has a new chip inside. This is an Apple design chip that's remarkable. It's a dual core processor. It delivers performance that's up to twice as fast at CPU tasks. It's also dual core graphics, which means the graphics can be up to seven times faster than they were in the previous iPhone. Second, the wireless system can now intelligently switch between the two antennas for both transmit and receive. Can now download data to twice as fast as before. Well now, the iPhone 4S is a world phone. It has both GSM and CDMA. Third, the camera system. First, it starts with a new sensor, an eight megapixel sensor. It can tell if there's up to 10 people in it and get the best auto exposure across all their faces. 
The new iPhone 4S, 1.1 seconds. And it gets even faster. You go to take another picture, it's just a half a second longer to get that second picture on the iPhone 4S. I don't know what Droid Bionic customers have to do between taking pictures, like go get coffee. Next, video recording. And for the first time, it is now 1080p HD video. Next, in the iPad is AirPlay, the ability to do AirPlay mirroring. This means everything you see on your screen can be up on TV. We haven't told you really the best feature of it. Left one thing out. And this is really cool. It's a feature all about our voice. That's a feature in the iPhone 4S we call Siri. Siri is your intelligent assistant that helps you get things done just by asking. An 8 gigabyte iPhone 3GS for free, an iPhone 4 at just $99, and the brand new iPhone 4S at $199. Pre-orders will start on the 7th, just this Friday, and will be available in a week on October 14th, a week from Friday. Today, we're going to introduce iPhone 5, and this is iPhone 5. <laughs> New iPhone 5 is just 7.6 millimeters thin, it weighs just 112 grams, but the new screen on iPhone 5 is a four inch display, but to that, We've added HSPA Plus, dual carrier HSDPA, and yes, LTE. With iPhone 5, we have 802.11a joining B, G, and N. 802.11n is now 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and that's dual channel 5 gigahertz for much greater performance. So you can get a theoretical maximum performance of 100 megabits per second of bandwidth on 802.11. So what's next? System performance, a brand new chip, the Apple A6 chip. Compared to the A5, it's two times faster at CPU, two times faster at graphics, because what they've done is not only match, but exceed the battery life of the iPhone 4S. And they've done that. They have built in an eight megapixel sensor, 3264 by 2448, but perhaps the most amazing feature of the new camera in iPhone 5 is called Panorama. And this is incredible. This image is 28 megapixels in size. And, of course, you can take photos while you're recording video. And the camera on the front has been updated as well. The FaceTime camera is now a FaceTime HD camera, 720p, backside illuminated for great low light performance, does face detection, and you can do FaceTime over cellular networks as well. We now have not two, but three microphones built in to iPhone 5. One on the bottom, one on the front, and another on the back. We've improved the speaker as well. Now, instead of two magnets in the transducer, there's five magnets. It gives a better frequency response for the audio. And best of all, they fit it into a space that's 20% smaller while sounding better. We've even updated the earpiece so that when you hold it to your head and make a call, not only do we noise cancellation on your voice going out to whoever you're speaking with, we do noise cancellation on what you hear through your own earpiece, removing some of the surrounding noise in your area to make it clearer to listen to your call. And we've got a new technology called Wideband Audio, the connector. But so much has changed since we first created that 30-pin connector. So a lot's changed, and it's time for the connector to evolve. And that's just what we've done. Our new connector is called Lightning. So now we have Thunderbolt and Lightning in our connector strategy. Perhaps one of the most important features of iPhone is the software it runs. And we have iOS 6, the latest version of the world's most advanced operating system. You'll be able to get an iPhone 4, 8 gigabytes, on free contracts. That's amazing. iPhone 4S for just $99 with 16 gigabytes. And the iPhone 5 starting at $199. Well, you can start to pre-order this Friday, September 14th. And we're going to ship the iPhone 5, just one week later, September 21st.